Hey, what's up, studs? Ryan here, or MNR Productions, and welcome to the best LEGO mocks for March of 2020. Here on the channel, I upload best LEGO mocks videos the first Saturday of every month, so if you don't want to miss those, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you have anything to say about the mocks, you can comment down below. Also, linked in the description below will be the links to all of the mock builders from the sources, so you guys can check that out. They'll be linked in order of appearance. So, let's go ahead and get started with our first mock from reddit putting my robots to work this is a working robotic they, it's like an assembly line but they're not really assembling anything they're just kind of moving basketballs which is really fascinating to use those rubber lego tip pieces there like the technic rubber pieces to move the basketballs looks very beautiful just kind of poetry in motion there and just basket i mean it's kind of pointless like, right, you're just moving basketballs from point A to point B, but it's still a really cool, like, mechanical feat to see in LEGO. So definitely a great build here as our first best mock of the month, and I love how all the robots are different colors and such. Next two mocks are some classic cartoons you may have seen before from Tom and Jerry. First up, we have Square Tom. This is pretty on point. I mean, obviously, it's hard to make, like, actual, like, good-looking, like, realistic-shaped Tom and Jerry's, but Square Tom works really well for some reason, or because he's square, really. And as much as I'd love to see Lego Tom and Jerry, I don't think it would work, but this does work, and it works beautifully. Even the mouth is spot on. That's gonna be a little custom piece there. Same with the eyes, obviously, but yeah, that is a beautiful looking mock, and obviously, a square Jerry to go with your square Tom, your little mouse here, or not square, sorry. He's triangular, but it's a very odd looking shape. This one doesn't really translate quite as perfectly as square Tom, but Jerry just looks hilarious here. I love Tom and Jerry. It was one of my favorite cartoons growing up, so I definitely give this one a thumbs up, or both of these a thumbs up, honestly. Beautiful, beautiful cartooning. Next up on YouTube from Virtual Maker Lucas, we have the Lego Technic Liber 11200 Crane Final Test Mock by Jaron Otto. Hopefully I didn't butcher the name, but look at that. That is absolutely gorgeous, and let's be honest, it is humongous. It's freaking, like, like this would easily be the most pieces, the biggest LEGO set ever made if LEGO were to ever release this exact thing here. What's even crazier about custom Technic models like this to me is just the amount of precision you have to have. The amount of trial and error that would go into something like this has to be immense, because all these mechanisms have to work perfectly, obviously, because with Technic, even when you build the sets, one small error, and you gotta go way, way back, and I can't imagine how many small small errors might go into a thing like this where you have to go back and fix it and he's done an amazing job with this I love this mock so much just for like just because I know how much work you would have to put into something like this to get it to work and still look like the actual thing so a beautiful mock over on YouTube there next up on Flickr here from Hachiroku hopefully I didn't butcher that uh, 24 we have what is an amazing looking Thanos let's be honest it's better than the big fig in my opinion it's honestly something that I think Lego should adopt although I bet the reason they wouldn't is because I'm sure some of the joints might be a little bit weak and that's kind of the thing with mocks they don't have to be like as strong as you have to be if you want to be a Lego set but this Thanos is just just drop dead gorgeous I mean this is spot on size wise like all the proportions of this work out really well in my opinion and unlike the th like it's like a scaled down Thanos mech but better in my opinion so this Thanos is absolutely killer and I wish Lego would release one like this but I don't think they would do that it's ju it's beautiful though also on Flickr from Sanel we have what I love the UCS Imperial Shuttle however it's a little bit a little bit dilapidated a little bit destroyed there the UCS Imperial Shuttle shuttle you know rest in peace but i mean this one being retaken by nature here you got even a oh i like this the the stormtrooper here kind of reminds me of death troopers that's a good book but yeah in a beautiful kind of jungly foresty uh biome and i just love how he's interchanged a lot of the parts to be brown and gray instead of uh white for the imperial shuttle and then on top of that the the wing here is beautiful with the the rust the rustic look there with all the different colors going into that it's it's beautiful it really is you know as much as i love the ucs imperial shuttle and i don't want to see it just destroyed seeing it destroyed like this i think looks just so gorgeous and you know the only thing I, I would even say might make this better is like some kind of like imperial troopers like trying to scout out the wreckage trying to find sur not that survivors would probably be present this this latent deterioration but i think that would be kind of an interesting uh for story wise next up we have an imperial convoy on lothal looks like it's straight out of star wars rebels to me with the atdp and the the stormtrooper troop transporters there kind of like the battle pack sets and even those speeder bikes look very rebels -esque. 
esque, but I really love the buildings. The roadway uh, looks pretty standard. You have the masonry bricks worked into that. Looks looks nice, but I really love the buildings and like how you can see kind of uh, some normal citizens of the area just kind of screwing around while Imperials are just kind of walking by. Like it's kind of funny in that way. I really like the ATDP though. I think the shaping of that is beautiful. It's not like the Lego one either where the studs are outward facing. It's snot technique. So it looks great because of that, I think. Next up also on Instagram, this is one of the best uses I've seen. I didn't think these would be able to be put into mocks. I really didn't, but the Ninjago gamer sets, like the little arcade game sets, they actually turn these into like newsstands and arcade games and a fruit stand. It's beautiful. You're selling pumpkins and apples and pineapples and carrots and bananas. It's it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. And they really worked in uh, a real nice design outside of the actual giant brick that is the arcade stand otherwise from the newsstand. And even over here selling some hats, I'm sure you could do some arcade games. I don't know why I thought arcade, but yeah, arcade games would work too, obviously. But yeah, the hat stand there. I'm really surprised someone was creative enough to actually figure out a use for these outside of the actual little Ninjago sets, but he definitely did there. Next up, also on Instagram from BrickWizard59, a set that I really think LEGO will one day eventually cave and make is the Jedi Temple. It's the ultimate Jedi set, right? You can include so many different Jedi and relics and weird things like that. And what I would love to see from it is something just like this. The backside of the build here is what I think is really important because obviously the front facing side would be very displayable you could look at that but inside you have kind of the jedi council room a little bit you have some of the library or the uh, archives in there and you have different little sections of the temple which is really really cool for your minifigs but on the outside it kind of looks micro scale so i really like the kind of two-in-one facet of this build that works really well or would work really well for an actual lego set if lego were to turn this into one so i really like what he has going on here and i really wish lego would take note on this one as the title for this one suggests there is no pram included with the razor crest set so this guy made one nano rex and this is actually a really good little brick built pram i mean i know it was must have been really hard for lego to try and make one i'm sure they have like a ton of different attempts at it and i don't think they really ever got to one that would have worked for them but this one isn't half bad unfortunately it doesn't like cover over the top or anything like it's just one of those tough things to make in lego star wars i think that we'll may we may never see in an actual lego set but for a mock i think this is pretty good and if you were looking for one for your baby Yoda when you get the Razor Crest. This may be one you want to look into trying to recreate because it's beautiful. Next up on Reddit as well, the Trench Run Kinetic Sculpture here. It should be a GIF if it will play. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff here as it moves back and forth, kind of oscillates. Even the turrets move, which is just mesmerizing, I think. They're kind of tracking the X-Wing there. So this is an amazing build. I really love what he's got going on, going back and forth in that Death Star Trench. Next, again, on Instagram here, we have from KevFet 2011. It's an amazing little Pasana speeder chase mock, kind of incorporating things we've already seen from LEGO Star Wars with the red speeder and then the Imperial, or rather, uh, First Order speeder. But more importantly to me, he's also included that other speeder that Lego didn't release in that set, which I really wish they would have released, but it does look beautiful. It's got that triangular shape in the front. He's got the correct minifigs on there and everything, all the little uh, wires and such going on it. It's it's a beautiful little mock there. Obviously, mocks don't have to conform to what Lego sets do, but he's done an amazing job. Spoiler alert for Mandalorian Episode 8. This is the Redemption Lego mock. If we click to see spoiler, here you go. This is just this is just gorgeous. It's coming out of the cave there in the lava river. You got the stormtroopers already dead because IG-11 gave his life to kill them. You can even see his head there. Oh, his body and his legs. Oh, I didn't even notice that the first time looking at this mock because they're gray and they just kind of hide there. That is freaking hilarious, actually. <laughs> that is good. Uh, but yeah, uh, obviously they are making their way out. The astromech droid has been decapitated at this point. You have little baby Yoda who is just looking like regular Yoda because they used the regular Yoda head. That's kind of funny. Uh, Mando going to put on his jetpack there. Grief Karga, Cara Dune, just beautiful, beautiful, and the boat looks gorgeous, so. I almost forgot to mention the rock work. Did I mention the rock work is really good? Because the rock work is just freaking amazing, and I don't even know how you can do this. Like, like just the way it's angled and the shapes and everything that are connected, like, it's really, like, I don't want to call it weird looking because it looks really good, but it's weird looking from the, the, the standpoint of, like, how did he do that, kind of. Next up is Lego Jackass. Unfortunately, got rejected from Lego Ideas, I guess. Don't worry, I don't reject this. This is hilarious, and I... 
I really hope Jackass gets their own Lego set one day, even though they definitely won't. Um, but it looks like he's got all the main characters on there, at least as many as he could fit in this giant oversized shopping cart, assumedly going down a hill of some sort, because what else would they do with it? Or maybe going off the roof of a building, like that's what they do. A set that I would really not like to see Lego ever make, but that actually makes for a really good mock is this. It's literally this from Mirko Sapolsa. He made UCS pod racers. This first one is Sebulba's pod racer. A couple images because it's a very large uh, picture there, but that is inc like just crazy detailed. Like, an incredible build even using I think those are parts that usually you would see on like buildable figures there so that's kind of neat to see kind of intertwine even some weird purple parts I'm not really sure what those are from but those seem to work really well for the like electro connector between the two sides of the pod racer engines there this is pretty spot on though I really love what he's got going on and you can see some different angles here with the back side of the engine with the thrust coming out there in orange just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. Next up, we have on Instagram from Marcus, we have the end of the first episode of The Mandalorian here, that like final scene area, and you have Mando on the little turret there shooting down all the people trying to guard Baby Yoda behind the door there, and of course, now they're all dead. Next up, we have a snow moving machine, so forget using your shovel in the cold weather, unlike uh, in Florida here, I don't have to use that, but you know, if you live up in the, the good old north of America, or maybe somewhere in Europe, and you don't want to have to move snow yourself, well, why don't you just spend hours and hours, days and days, weeks and weeks building your own Lego snow moving machine out of Technic and then you don't have to do any of the work yourself. It, the mechanism is beautiful. I wonder if any of this actually like, fr like the engines or whatever freezes up in the winter for Lego. I mean, that'd be interesting to see. But yeah, this is really, really cool to see in action. So that's that. Moving on, another uh, Reddit post here. I love this one because it's a mock that is very self-aware. I think that's the best way to put it, right? So you have these Lego bricks, which are wearing rebel helmets, like they're planning something, right? Some of them aren't wearing rebel helmets, I guess, but they're planning. What are they planning? They're planning to be stepped on because they're on the floor, right? Where, where people would step on them, maybe coming out of bed or whatever here. And they're showing like a diagram of a foot and where they want to be stepped on by the foot to inflict maximum pain. This is a hilarious and very fun, self-aware mock. Really love that. Built Bricks here has a ton of different LEGO lightsabers. One of those things that I just don't understand why LEGO has never made, maybe because they don't want to make weapons. I don't know, but he's got Kanan Jarrus, Luke Skywalker, Darth Maul, Kylo Ren, Master Yoda, Ezra. looks like, I think that's that's got to be Obi-Wan. That's definitely Obi-Wan's lightsaber. Uh, Anakin Skywalker and Darth Vader. I mean, these are just all so perfect to me. I can't even tell you... Uh, any little flaws in these. He's really hit it out of the park with these little lightsabers here. And finally, our final mock from Brick Bat Dad on Instagram here, we have the Batwing, which looks like the Bat Insignia, obviously. It looks like he's actually still doing some building in this particular video, but I love that he's built kind of this exterior cave for it, right? And then he's got it on this giant Technic swivel that'll spin it around for him whenever he wants. That is really amazing. I can't imagine how much this one costs to put together, especially given how much Technic and wiring I see going into it, but a beautiful, beautiful uh, Batwing mock there. So that is all of the best mocks for March of 2020. If you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you leave a like. If you have anything to say about any of these mocks, you can leave in the comment section down below. Let me know what your favorite was and if you want to check out any of the mock builders give them a follow they'll be all linked down in the description below in order of appearance thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next one peace out